Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to be going over something that a lot of people have been asking for from Ubiquity for quite a while. And there is three new devices, but only one of them will be out as the time of this video release. And that is Unify 5G. The device that we'll be looking at in this video is the U5G Max, which will be available for purchase right now at $399 USD. We also have the U5G Max Outdoor and then the UDR 5G Max, which will be coming out early next year. The U5G Max is a very simple device to set up, whether you're using it for backup internet or this is your primary source. So if you have a remote location that doesn't have copper or fiber, this could work perfectly for your situation. So let's go take a closer look at the U5G Max and then we'll get it all set up and do some testing. And this is the Unify 5G Max. Right on the front we have the branding and we also have an LCM which we'll take a look at once it's adopted into our network application. On the very bottom of the device this is where we have our nano SIM slot. So we have two different ones for failover and then we have a PoE and Ethernet port that goes at 2.5 gigabit per second. We also have a reset button and then there's these little grooves on the side which would be used for our mounting. On the back of the device, we have two ventilation holes. So one on the top and then one on the bottom. For mounting, it comes with a couple different options. It comes with this table stand, which is really nice. And then on the bottom, we have a hole where we'll be feeding our ethernet cable through. It also comes with this other mount with sticky pads on it. So if you wanna put it on your window, we just grab the 5G Max and then we put it in and then click up. So this would stick perfectly to your window or another source. They also give you just a bundle of three other sticky pads in case you want to put it somewhere else. The next step for us is to get this set up. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to insert my SIM slots. So we're going to do that just because it's on the bottom. And once I put it on the mount, it will be inaccessible unless I rip it off the mount. So we're going to be using two different SIMs. So I'm going to pop the first one open. And this will be for my primary SIM. So I do have my SIM card and I'm gonna place it in. The SIM cards are now added to the Unify 5G Max. We need to get it powered up. And this is powered by PoE Plus. So any switch in your environment that has PoE Plus will work. This doesn't need to go to a dedicated WAN port. So I'm gonna be using the mount. We need to bring the cable through the bottom of the mount. And then we need to pull it up. With the cable pulled up, we're gonna plug it into the bottom of the Unify 5G Max. And you should see the light coming on and it will be starting up. So I'm just going to bring the cable down and then we're just going to place it on the mount and rest it. Once this is done booting up, we'll have to adopt it into our Unify network application, which I'll do from my phone so that we could see what's on the screen. Another nice thing about this mount, it has a cable raceway on the bottom so that this will sit flush. All right, and on my phone, you could see that this is ready to be adopted and it also shows on the front screen here. So I'm going to set up. And now it is going into the adoption phase. And once that's done, we'll take a look to see if the Sims are actually working properly and then we'll go back to my computer. Okay, it is now adopted into the Unify network application. And at the top, we could see a couple things. We could see that we're on 5G and then we have two SIMs. So we have TELUS and then TELUS Mobility. If you really wanna do this in a failover fashion, you may wanna go with a different mobility provider. So we could do maybe TELUS and then we could do Rogers here in Canada. If we touch on the screen, it's gonna bring us up some information. So we have our statistics and then we have information and then we have a settings wheel. So the settings wheel, we could do things like bring up the brightness and then we could always scroll over and it's showing that we have data roaming, which is currently disabled for SIM one and SIM two. I will show you in the network application where we could change that. So let's go back to my computer and then look at the settings for this. We're back at my Unify network application and on the right hand side, we could see that we have the U5G Max. Below that, we could see our two different SIMs. So we have SIM1, which is our primary, and it will show us the signal strength. I did pop out SIM2 just to show you this. So if you add a secondary SIM into this, after you do your primary, there will be a setup required. So I'll click on setup required. It does say the cellular connection on all SIMs will be interrupted when initializing this SIM, and we're going to activate it. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is this is carrier unlocked. So you could use whoever you want. Okay, SIM2 is now initialized and we could see SIM1 and then SIM2 is our failover standby. We could also do eSIM, which is currently disabled. 
Below that, we have all the device information and the eSIM information that you would need. Scrolling down below, it's going to tell us a couple different things about the SIM 1 and the SIM 2, and then we could see our parent device at the bottom where it's plugged into. Under our insights, this is where we're going to look at our history for the U 5G Max, and then we could click over on our settings. Under our settings wheel, we could set the name, and then we could look at our cellular options, SIM 1, SIM 2, and then eSIM. We could click on this roaming, and what that says, Connect to other networks when your carrier signal is unavailable. Additional charges may apply. We could also set a data limit if we want per SIM, and then we could use a custom APN. The other things are pretty standard on any Ubiquiti device. We have our IP settings, and then we have all of our management settings. If we want to make SIM 2 our primary, we could click on SIM 2 and we could set it as the primary. One thing to note, we can't use SIM 1, SIM 2, and eSIM all at the same time. We could either use SIM 1 and SIM 2 as a failover, or we could use SIM 1 and eSIM. Creating the eSIM will disable SIM 2. Upon adoption, it will automatically create you a different WAN connection. We could see here that I have WAN 3. It's going to tell us who we're connected to, so tell us communication and our DBM. We could also do a speed test right from here. So let's take a look to see at what I'm getting. And my speed tests were 495 down by 17 up, and that would be perfect for me to use for a failover connection. But how do we assign this to different networks? We're gonna wanna go over to our settings wheel, and then we're gonna click on our networks. From here, what we need to do, we need to click on the network we want to use cellular, in the case of our primary WAN failure. Clicking on my default network, we could see Unify Cellular Internet Backup, and it says allow this network to use cellular data when the WAN connections are down. So all we would do is hit this checkbox, and then we'd apply the changes. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do object-based networking just so we could do some tests using this computer here. This is the rule that I'll be applying. So we could see that I called it Cody's Computer Through Cell, and I've selected this PC. The route that we have checked off, we're going to send out all traffic and the interface that we're going to go down is our cellular interface. So I'm going to apply this. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a command line and we're going to do a ping out to the internet. I'll grab the 5G max and then we're going to pop out the SIM 1 and see how long it takes to fail over to the SIM 2. I have the Unify 5G max right beside me now and on the command line, I'm going to press enter and we can see that it's going through and I'm getting requests back. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab the release tool for the SIM. We're going to pop out SIM 1 and see how many packets we lose or if we don't lose any. So I'm going to go ahead. Nano SIM 1 is now out. And there we go. It did drop a couple packets. So you could see those four requests timed out. But now we're back up on the other SIM card right now that's working currently. So that is our SIM 2. That's going to be my video on the Unify 5G Max. And I think this will be perfect for backup or failover internet. Even if you're on a remote location and you have no ISP connectivity, this would be nice. One of the best features is it's fully unlocked. So you could choose whichever provider that you want. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the Unify 5G Max. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.